Hey guys, and welcome back to Skies of Arcadia. When we last left off, uh, I don't actually know. It's been nearly, but not quite, three weeks since I've last played. Um, so, <laughs> yeah. I'm not 100% sure what we're doing. I think we were looking for um, discoveries, that kind of thing. Uh, still got quite a few of those to to deal with. We did take on a couple of the larger beasts and uh, thanks to Chris for all of your helpful comments. The game's librarian. Um, we have to fight the looper but we can't do that yet. He's over here. Uh, there's also the rock that we can't fight yet either. Um, so for now we've also got a few bounties left to do and that kind of thing but let's get out of here and go and uh, go to the Ruins of Ice, I suppose. Seems like the thing to do. Quite a cool little bit, actually. Right, let's just skip through this fight as quick as we can. Get some Omega Cyclone action going on. Um, I haven't recorded any of this game for ages, and I haven't been able to record much for the last two days either. Uh, mainly, well, there's two reasons. I thought, is that? I thought I heard my doorbell going. Uh, two reasons for that. The first reason is I have been utterly addicted to recording an upcoming game, which I cannot uh, cannot give because this video is going to be uploaded uh, as soon as it's finished recording. Um, and uh, we've had some. Well, next door's having scaffolding put up, and. It's been very difficult to try and record around that these last few days. Uh, very, 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 very infuriating, in fact. But they've quietened down now. So that's good. Might as well kill the little loopers so the big looper can uh, have a little bit of ass kickery. Can have a little look to see what's in store for him. Now, Ruins of Ice. This is where we need to be. Now, exactly where we need to be. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Let's keep exploring. I'm sure all will be uh, made crystal clear for us in time. Hmm. I'm sure we've just got to find like a somewhat obvious. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Like, I don't think it looks like a city, but there's something here that we... Oh, didn't even see the looper there. Oh, well. Here we go. Was that a cham? Did we get a cham for that? I mean, we couldn't have done. It doesn't make any sense. But... Maybe we've got a chom. Can you get choms from enemies? Maybe they're just an incredibly low uh, drop. Let's increase the agility of... Oh, I don't know. Just give it to her. Oh, we've got all these seeds as well. Increase power by three. Uh, I suppose... I mean... Enrique is pretty weak, so we'll fill him up with power. An eel found in dark areas under clouds or continents. Barely edible. Yum. Oh, increases will. Alright, well, we'll give that to Ica. Didn't realise we had all of those, to be honest. Well, I probably did. I probably just forgot. Alright, I don't know what that was. Maybe it was a charm. So, where are you? Where is the way? Do you know the way? I know the way. Oh, is that what we're, that's what we're looking for. Okay, thought that was a little bit more obvious than it was. Oh, anywho, 
I guess we actually have a cham straight off the bat here. Cham can update my notes straight away, which is always nice. Um, so Cham, yeah, as soon as you enter the ruins. Very nice. Happy with that one. All right, let's go. This is cool, isn't it? Is the pun intended? It might be intended. Hmm. What do we got going on here? Visitor to uh, Galatia. Answer my query and open your own path. What? Did did that rock just say something? Deep within the purple moonstone lies power to hold the world still. What is this power? Where's the power of ice? The power of ice, of course. Okay. So. Alright, I guess we can only choose one of the doors. That's perplexing. Hmm. Alright, well, let's keep going. Uh, this looks, well, questionable. I mean, hey, who doesn't like a super fun happy slide? Hmm. So the chests here. Um, okay. Right, okay, so we don't have to worry just yet. Cool. So we get a swashbuckling boost if we get the uh, questions that were being asked correct. Well, we can handle that. I think. Ooh. Visitor to uh, Galicia. Answer my query. The purple crest hides a certain number. What is that number? I think it's two. I could actually just glance over here and look it up. Uh, maybe two. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, we need the boost anyway if we want to get the best of everything. So, here we go. Super fun happy slide, number two. Jesus. Kind of looks like a bit of a tooth chipper. I want to fall on that. Jeez. No enemies yet, either. Have I just glitched? Uh, glitched? Have I just uh, jinxed myself? Right, so question number three. Visitor to uh, Galicia. Answer the. La yeah. Oh, so this is the last question. Purple moonstones affect the abilities of living things. What are the abilities most valued by the people of Galicia? Power, courage, will, and spirit. There we go. So, uh, from what I can understand, it doesn't really matter what you answer. All roads lead to the same place. Uh, I just think you get a bonus if you get it right. Okay. Onwards. Onwards and upwards. This looks like it's the last door. Ooh, Jesus, that's bright. The fog is so thick, I can barely see what's in front of me. It's so cold, even the air is freezing. Well, we can't let that stop us. No, we can't, Vase. <gasps> yeah! <laughs> he just disappears. Vase? Uh, let's hope he hasn't fallen to his death. That would be rather awkward now, wouldn't it? Hey, where'd Vase go? Yeah, where did Vase go? I'm down here. 
Oh, well, I mean, he's not dead. Oh. He's what happened? That was close. If we can see the sky through the floor, that means we're at the bottom. Hey, the fog is starting to lift. Oh, I never imagined we'd find this. Whoa. That's cool. Wow. Wow, there are buildings shaped like icicles hanging from the ceiling. This is Garcia. In the old world, it was the capital of this region. The people that lived here were powerful mages. Using the powers of the purple moon, they built this city. And because the city was built below the ice, it was unharmed by the rains of destruction. Ah. So Garcia is as it was during the time of the old world. But wait, then what happened to the people that were living here? I... I don't know. According to legends, the people of Galcia just disappeared. Nobody knows where they went or why they left. Maybe they left their city to invade another land. And they perished in the war. And in the rains. I can't imagine an entire culture becoming extinct. Think of all the knowledge that was lost. Everything that these people worked so hard for is going to stay buried here forever. Let's go. We should find the purple moon crystal before we get buried here forever. Yeah, well, uh, I guess... I guess we do have a job to do. Hmm. Okay, well, onwards, I guess. Oh, this is... This is gonna be a maze, isn't it? Yes. Yes, it is. Um... I guess we're gonna... Ooh. There's a chest there. I, at least I guess that's a chest. I guess we'll find out. God, this emulator looks so good. It's like walking on ice. Yeah, that's literally a see-through. Oh, hello, enemies. Yeah, literally uh, a see-through <laughs> walkway. That's not worrying. Whoa, dude, look at these things. Let's see how they like a mega cyclone, shall we? Okay. Okay, we're gonna have to... Ooh, yeah, so ice is not gonna be doing us any favors here. Which, you know, makes sense. I would actually equip everybody to use fire, but we don't really need fire, so we just soldier through it. Some of these enemy designs look pretty wicked here, actually. Ah, uh, you know what? Just do Reign of Swords. I should kill most things. Whoa. If not every- Wow, okay, that Frost Worm is pretty strong. But he's dead now, so, you know. You don't really have to worry about him being strong, do we? Oh, me too, Fina. Makes my heart happy. Hey. Okay. Let's keep going. Kind of like tempted to scan everything because I've been playing so much Resident Evil Re uh, Revelations. It's like scan everything with the Genesis device. We don't have a Genesis device. Unfortunately. Ah, we got... Oh, God, I was going to say, we got options here. Oh, right, these things. That ain't no problem. Ica, get rid of them. Wow, talk about cleaning house. Ica have finished the rest off. Get out of here. That was easy. Yeah, wasn't it just... I think we're pretty over-leveled, 
but that's fine. It's kind of the way it's panned out. Okay, so where does this go? I have a. F Ooh! Okay, what have you got? Ice splitter. Right, that's technically the first chest, so that's good. Ice splitter, that's obviously a weapon. But I'm guessing. Huh. Is it not a weapon? Hmm. What was that then? Ice splitter. Interesting. Oh, it is. Oh, it's a boomerang. Okay. For some reason didn't expect it to be um, a boomerang. Cool. So, Ying Wing. Ow. Does the ice splitter stack? Yeah, it does a little bit more damage. Sure. We'll give the ice splitter a go. Seems like... Oh, God. Combat. Looks like we're not going to have to go far to try it out. Oh, it looks quite cool, too. Okay. So... Also looks like we have... An unfortunate uh, load of tough enemies here. That's fine. Right. Update my notes. We have the ice splitter. Yeah, so if you let these like uh, animations play out too far. You don't, uh, you don't get the ability to skip. Oh, we've got a looper. I see. Kind of want to kill the looper. Wow, those guys really suck, don't they? Let's go for some Cutlass Fury. Kill the looper. Uh, you know what? You heal yourself. Um, 500 HP, that's no good. There we go. Now you, I guess we can start using some magic here, can't we? Pyre. All enemies on screen? All enemies on screen? Sure. Let's try this. Why the devil? Okay, yeah, that's not good. Not supposed to kill each other, guys. I'm just saying. That's really bad. Let's see how this works. Ooh. Okay, again, it doesn't really do a huge amount of damage. Kind of disappointing, to be honest. Critical hit on Fina. It's also not fantastic. Go for Reign of Swords. Just normal attack. Uh, can we use any magic? I guess we can use Pyres. Okay. Oh, it's one dead. These things are reasonably strong. Kind of impressive, actually. I, mean, I guess it's nice to finally have a challenge. Oh, God. There's two people confused. Right. Just finish it off, yeah? Thank you. That's going to suck. But my god, look at the XP we get. And the gold. Right, let's get everybody healed up because that was really painful. Not kidding when they say this place is kind of dangerous. Let's use all of our fish up. Because we need to... Um, catch more fish. 
Oh my god, it's like not even worth using really, but we've got to get them out of our inventory. I'll uh, we'll probably sell the fish. Trouble is, we can't pick more fish up. Uh, yeah, you can't pick more fish up, unfortunately. Uh, if you've already got 99 of a particular type of fish. Now, uh, that's a problem. That's a problem because to get one of the um, titles for, for vase, you actually need to like farm X amount of thousand of fish. It's kind of silly. And that's probably a title we're not going to get. Just because I think it's like 2,000 odd fish that you need to harvest, something like that. It's, yeah. Yeah. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not going to be doing that. I've got some action replay codes that maybe you can use, but I don't really think you get anything from doing it. Uh, let's go for some Cutlass Fury on you. What do you have left? You can Alpha Storm, but I don't think you can hurt Lupus with your Alpha Storm. So, just attack. And you, yeah, just attack. You, attack the other Looper. Let's see what happens. I'm not expecting humongous things. Yeah, exactly. Uh, let's go for... Ooh, a single enemy, Pirate's Wrath, yeah, Reign of Swords. Now let's see if this kills the Looper. It actually does, good, good to know. Very good to know. Excellent. Good old Vase, keep, keep leveling up, buddy, keep leveling up. Right, I think there's another chest down here. If my notes are accurate, which I, I hope they are. Ah, yeah, there it is. But of course, more. Oh my god, look at all those enemies. You know what? Let's just go for a round of normal attacking. Hopefully, these guys aren't going to run away. That's fine. And then what we will do. No! We'll go for Reign of Swords. And that should, in theory, kill the rest. That should be good experience. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it was. Yes, it was. And look at the gold. 5,000 gold. Jeez, dude. Jeez. Very nice. Really? 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 Oh! It's you. Well, okay. Everybody just bundle on. This guy's never really that tough. Yeah, we've already got like a quarter of his health down already. Uh, let's go for special move. Pirate's Wrath. Have at you, you blackguard. You son of a bitch. Yeah, there we go. Done, son. Nice amount of XP. Wow. We should be flying up the levels here. Winter Orb. Very nice. Okay, so winter orb, happy days, uh, right, so from what I can understand, the lift there, <clears throat> okay. We're gonna. This is kind of confusing to get everything here. But we should be okay. I mean, apparently, our next chest is chest number 100. 
And Enrique's leveled, which is nice. Another Moonberry. Excellent. Okay, so let's... Okay, so I'm guessing this is technically lift two. I think. And that leads us up here. So directly ahead, there's yet another... Oh, there's a safe spot there. Uh, let's... Right, cool. Sweet. Okay, so that's the second and final charm in this place. Very nice. Uh, right, we got the winter orb. And now we need Frostblade. Which through here, question mark? Oh man. Oh man. Right, let's just just attack. See if we can save up. Oh nice. Yes. Rain of Swords. Finish the lot off. Don't run from me, boys. I need your skulls. Excellent. Nice. Like 2,000, 2,500 XP and 5,000 money. You know. You, you just, you just stupid to not milk that. Looks like a pretty good place to level, to be honest. Right, Frostblade. Now that has to be for Vase, surely. Surely. No? Oh. I guess that's probably for uh, Enrique then. Curious. Yeah. Well, it's better. A blade so sharp and cold it's almost numbing to the touch. It can confuse enemies. Yeah, nice. All right. Well, we'll have it. Cool. Won't be too long before we see it either. Right. So that's Frostblade captured. So we've now found 100 chests. Okay. So we're going to go to the save point now, which is nice. Wow, we're actually on half an hour here, guys. Or at least we're close to half an hour. So this might not be the worst place in the world to save it. And it does mean that I can hopefully get this video uploaded and... Uh, ready for you guys to watch because I don't want that to be too long so I'm going to leave it here guys thank you very much for watching when we come back we're going to finish this little dungeon oh well after this bout of glorious whoa hello is that like a sasquatch or something no it's a dull thrastra yeah yeah you know one of those what do you mean you don't know what one of those is have a word with yourself Ooh, this thing looks like it's going to be strong. Yeah, this thing's going to be strong, dude. Let's see our Frostblade. Ooh, counter-attack stings. Yeah, the little shitty things are trying to run away. Okay, so let's go for Pirate's Wrath on that thing's asshole. And... Attack. Attack. So Frostblade, okay, doesn't look that exciting, kind of like quite a boring design actually, um, and then attack. Hopefully Pirate's Wrath is going to, yeah, there we go, 4,000 damage, unreal man. Okay, now we're on half an hour, <laughs> okay, anyway guys, I'm going to leave it there, thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.